Buddy, this is Gradius here, and this is a video for using the distributive property. And um, our objective today is that we can simplify expressions by using the distributive property. Okay, so a lot of us may have never heard of the distributive property. We may have no idea what the distributive property is. Um, it is a new tool that we get to use in math um, that is very, very useful, especially when you get to algebra and geometry. And later on, we use the distributive property all the time. Uh, it's using expressions and in equations and different formulas and it's, it's very, very uh, useful and important. So here's what the distributive property is. So say I have this uh, mathematical expression right here. I have 5 times, and then I have in parentheses, x plus 3. So what that means is if we were to you know try to solve this with order of operations, like so say I had 5, let's, instead of using x, let's say I had 5 times 2 plus 3. Well, order of operations would indicate would dictate that we do our parentheses first, and then we can multiply by this five afterwards. So two to plus three is five, and then we would multiply by five to get twenty-five. Well, we can't do that. We can't add x plus three because we don't know what x is over here. So that's why order of operations right now isn't necessarily going to work. But what we can do is we can use the distributive property to get rid of these parentheses and simplify this a little bit more. So the distributed property is this is 5 times whatever all of x plus 3 equals. So because I can't figure out what x plus 3 equals, what I can do is I can multiply by 5 before I figure out what this is. But if I were to multiply by 5, this is 5 times everything inside my parentheses. So it's 5 times this x, and I'm also taking 5 and I'm multiplying by this 3, as indicated right here. So because this is 5 times everything inside the parentheses, I'm taking my 5 and I'm distributing it, which is why it's called the distributive property. I am distributing it and I'm multiplying 5 by both pieces inside the parentheses separate. So it's two different problems. So I'm taking 5 and multiplying it by x. We indicate that as 5x, okay, because this is just 5 times x. I'm also taking 5, I'll do this in a different color. I'm also taking 5 and I'm multiplying it by 3. 5 times positive 3 is positive 15. So I have 5x plus 15. I can't simplify this anymore because there's no like terms, and I'm done. The reason why we like 5x plus 15 more is because there are no parentheses. Okay, I can't do any mathematical operations in order to simplify this further, and so this will be my final answer. Okay, so let's look at some other examples of the distributed property. So I have 4 times, and so my parentheses uh, is multiplication, 4 times 6x minus 6. So again, I can't do anything inside these parentheses. I cannot do 6x minus 6 because they are, 6x minus 7, I'm sorry. I cannot do that because they are not like terms. So because I can't combine these, I still want to get rid of these parentheses. And so because this is 4 times everything here, I can take my 4 and multiply it by both pieces inside the parentheses. 4 times 6x. So if I'm multiplying a number with a variable, that's okay. We can multiply these. We don't, they don't have to be like terms in order to multiply. So I can multiply 4 times 6x. And really, if I do 4 times 6x, let's just pull that off to the side here. So if I have 4 times 6x, what that's saying is, is as multiplication shows, I have 4 6x's. That so means I have 6x, 6x, 6x and 6x. So I have 6x four different times, and we can add all those together. Well, 6x plus 6x plus 6x plus 6x, when we've combined like terms in the past, this equals 24x. So just showing why we can multiply these. So 4 times 6 is 24. I keep my x attached. And then I do 4 times negative 7. The sign follows the number. So 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. So I have 24x minus 28, and that would be my final answer. Let's look at another one just to do a few more examples. So now I have negative 4 parentheses, that means negative 4 times everything inside my parentheses, which is negative 2x plus 3. Again, I can't simplify inside the parentheses. There's nothing I can do inside of here. Okay, cannot combine negative 2x and positive 3 because the negative 2x has a variable, the 3 doesn't, so they are not like terms. So what I need to do is, by simplifying, I want to get rid of these parentheses. So I can take negative 4, 
and multiply it by negative 2x. You take negative 4 and multiply it by 3. Negative 4 times negative 2x, negative 4 times negative 2, is positive 8. So I have a negative times a negative is positive. 4 times 2 is 8. And then I just bring my x along with it, and that just stays attached. Negative 4 times positive 3, negative times a positive is negative. 4 times 3 is 12. 8x minus 12. And I'm done. Let's do one more just to make sure we've got all possible examples here. Negative 9 times 4x minus 8. So I want to use the distributive property to get rid of these parentheses. So if I have negative 9 times 4x, I have negative 9 times 4. And then I'm also going to do negative 9 times negative 8 eventually. Negative 9 times 4x is negative 36. And then I keep the x with it. Because 9 times 4 is 36. Negative times a positive is negative, And then the x just kind of tags along. And then I have negative 9 times negative 8, which is positive 72. So negative 36x plus 72. And just one more quick example of um, the distributive property just in case. So if I have 2 times, let's say it's like 3x minus 4 plus 8. So now there's three terms inside the parentheses. So there's two ways I can do this. I can use the distributive property, and I can take 2, multiply it by 3x, take 2, multiply it by negative 4, and take 2 and multiply it by positive 8. So I'm taking this and I'm multiplying it by every single term inside my parentheses. Or I could just try to simplify inside my parentheses first. So I know I have 3x minus 4 plus 8. Well, I can combine negative 4 and positive 8 together. If I were to combine negative 4 and positive 8, they would make positive 4. So I combine these two okay, to make positive 4. I still have my 3x. So my parentheses are still here. They haven't gone away yet. And then I still have the 2 in the front. Now I have a problem just like this where I can distribute just to two pieces instead of all three. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 4 is 8. And that would be done here. Had I done it up here, I would have the same exact answer. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. 2 times positive 8 is positive 16. Then I would still have to combine, though, this my like terms right here to simplify. I still have to combine 16 and negative 8 to get positive 8. So just be aware of that if you see more than one term, more than two terms inside of the parentheses to simplify and then use the distributive property. And it'll make your life just a little bit easier. Okay, I hope this video helped. Good luck. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.